morning everybody. I've been here in Grants Pass, passed through here a couple times uh, before. It was always freezing. I remember running my heater in Grants Pass. And today, triple digits. You betcha, sure. And, well, something I didn't know about Grants Pass, they are very proud of their Neanderthal roots, as evidenced by this huge caveman greeting you when you first get into the city. It's pretty strange, right? In fact, one of their local school mascots is the caveman. Hey, we're gonna go play the caveman today. You know, so... It may originally have been a, a joke of sorts or something, but, but they are actually really proud of it. And this statue was destroyed in 2014 by fire. And then they uh, put it back up because they couldn't live without it. Go cavemen, woohoo! Uh, like I mentioned though, it's gonna be warm today. It's uh, kind of widespread. It's from here in Southern Oregon all the way down into Northern California. We're all seeing triple digits, anywhere from 103 to 108 degrees where I'm gonna be at today. Possibly the hottest weather I've ever been in in an RV before. But one way or another, we're gonna figure it out today and have some fun as we get into a new state. I'm hungry. Oh. It has been an insanely long time since I've seen an In-N-Out burger. They're not just a California chain, but they're very specific. Like they'll only, they'll only have a franchise about 400 miles away from their main location. So here in Grants Pass, Oregon, this might be the farthest that this franchise actually travels. And you can smell it out here. I need me some In-N-Out burger this morning. There we go. But hey, I don't want to eat in the restaurant. I got air conditioning in the RV. Plus I want to be with my kitty. Days like today, I am really glad that I have this system where I can run the roof air conditioner off of solar. Not all day, about five hours, I'm gonna need to fire up the generator because it can't quite keep up. When we're, we're pulling in close to 1800 watts, or using 1800 watts and only putting back in about 1200, 1300 watts, so yeah. It's been a while. Oh, you wouldn't like it, it's delicious. Their simple menu system in there has not changed for years. It's so basic, but it's so easy to understand, and it's there's nothing complicated about ordering your food there. I love it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Also, did you know that In-N-Out Burger was the very first establishment to introduce the uh, drive-through, the the two-way order system through the radio? That was in 1948 in California, long before McDonald's and Burger King and all these other restaurants started using it as well. Just reading on some fun facts. Also, they didn't have fountain drinks until 1958. Prior to that, the first 10 years of the business, you'd order an actual bottle of Coke or Pepsi. They actually sold both. You didn't have to pick and choose. It was Coke or Pepsi products. About ready to go, Jax? Cool, man. Um, also, you know what? I got a really early start this morning because I knew it was going to be warm and I passed four other summits passes before getting to Grants Pass. It was almost all uphill to about 3,100 feet, I think is where we're at right now. I wanted to get most of the big passes done in the early morning so that, not that I'm going to have overheating problems or anything like that, but I certainly didn't want to take the chance. So uh, before I even filmed anything this morning here in this town, yeah, I put on some miles this morning. And uh, we're still going to be going up a little bit. A few more passes. We'll see. But we'll put on some miles and uh, be saying hello to California here soon. Woo. Made a stop here in uh, Medford, Oregon. And back home we have a, a local icon, retired icon for stores is our Yardbirds. Well, here in Medford, they almost copied the same exact big bird, except they're calling it Blackbird. It looks like Yardbirds of Centralia, Chehalis area. I like it. It's essentially a, a hardware store selling all sorts of stuff and a big bird saying, come on in. So how can you not dig it, right? I like it. And you know what everybody told me I missed in Portland was Voodoo Donuts. That donut shop has been on my list for years. I still never had a Voodoo Donut. But there's something else a little farther south here that I think will kind of make up for it. Yeah. 
Now you might think that temperatures would be cooler if we're going up in elevation, but from my research today, it looks like there's just no relief anywhere. Sorry the bridge is so bumpy, Jax. It's just gonna be warm no matter what, no matter where we go, and that's okay. Also, we're only about 30 miles from the California state line. It's pretty cool, right? Jax man, you think, no, you're done? He's done with it. He said, Dad, it's entirely too many bumps. I'm gonna need you to, need you to just ease it on down. Okay. Anybody remember that Simpsons episode where uh, it may have been one of the tree houses of horror, but Homer Simpson was like big, giant, King Kong-like? I believe he would have came here <laughs> to get his frosty pink donut. <laughs> Puck's Donuts. That's puckin' awesome. We got pink frosting, my favorite. There's sprinkles and chocolate. Oh yeah. Did I save room for dessert? You betcha. Oh my gosh. You know exactly what day it is, guys. It's Monday for me. They're closed. Yeah. We'll have to find my donut elsewhere. Okay. All right. Well, oh, also I find this kind of funny. I'm in the city of Phoenix, Oregon, <laughs> but on the hottest day that I have ever vlogged and ever been in anywhere in nine years. It is now 102 degrees with an expected high of 104. It feels like what Vegas would feel like with that dry heat right now. I'm having a little bit of hard time breathing. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm new to this. I know people live down in this area all summer. It's really strange and I did not think it was gonna happen this late in the year. I guess technically it's not quite the end of summer yet, so this is no surprise. I need some AC though. Hey, don't feel sorry for Jax today. He's, he's in there with air conditioning. Spoiled rotten kitty. Here in uh, Ashland, Oregon, making a little stop at a park. There's a little creek running down there. I'm going to require a little bigger body of water than that to soak in though. Just saying. Well, that's nice. Look at this fountain. You know, uh, I, I heard somewhere before that the city of Ashland, Oregon has famous water. I don't know if this is it necessarily, but the lithia water is supposed to like heal and have minerals to people would come from hundreds of miles away to drink the water in Ashland, Oregon. I'm fairly certain that this fountain water is going to have some chemicals in it though. Probably. Guess what? I found the lithia fountains, that special healing water here. Just waiting around to see if anybody else wants to drink it first. <laughs> some information here about the uh, lithia water it says uh, it was installed in 1927. He spit it out, but he did he did drink it and he's still walking straight and the plaque at the fountain says natural lithia water contains sodium calcium iron Bicarbonate and other Healthful minerals, so it's mineral water and it's It's fizzing. It's it's foaming here It tastes horrible. If that's the key to health, I don't want to be healthy. <coughs> okay, now, now we will get out of Oregon. We will leave Oregon. Goodbye, Oregon. All right. Well, even if I don't need need the mineral water, I am gonna definitely make sure to stay hydrated today as much as possible. I remember the last time it was even close to this warm on Lincoln Highway in Pennsylvania. Y'all remember I got heat exhaustion and had to go to the hospital. Um, so that's, that's no joke when it comes to hot weather for me. I do not physically do well. So don't know if I'll be doing any more outdoor activities or walking in this heat for the rest of the day. But we got what? 11 miles to the California border. Oh yeah, Jack, you want some water? No, you good? Okay, I'll drink it. There it is, the top of Siskiyou Pass, 4,300 feet and still triple digits in September. <laughs> that is impressive. Look at that valley right down there where those trees are. That's California. Seven miles of 6% downgrade. Okay, we're going to get back to the really, really hot weather though. Okay. Oh, before I forget, one of the interesting things that I, I almost forgot to tell you guys. 
I realized this a couple days ago. So I told you when I'm running the uh, roof air conditioner off solar alone and getting 100% all the sun possible that still it can't quite keep up, you know? Like I have like five or six hours before the lithium batteries that are at 25% and I gotta fire up the generator. Well, it turns out that while I'm driving, cause I got an 80 amp um, alternator in there, well, that's giving it more juice. It's giving the battery bank juice along with the solar at the same time, and it stays at 100%. So I can drive like this nonstop. Ooh, sorry, there's a sign coming up here off to the right. It's a blue sign. Welcome to California. Nowhere to pull off though. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's kind of cool. As long as I'm driving and I'm getting solar, not under a bridge or something, uh, I can keep the roof AC going with the cab AC, everything 100% nonstop. Kind of cool, right? Because the inverter is acting as a pass-through at that point. It's taking the 80 amps or whatever the engine's giving it and then helping it. So I just thought I'd mention that. All right, California. It does look different already. I will tell you that. Let's take a break here. That lot doesn't look very level, but I do see RV spaces at All Star Liquors. <laughs> okay, check my altitude here real quick. 3,100 feet here. So we're still up pretty high. I mean, like I said, there's just there's nowhere to hide except to close the door and enjoy the AC and Netflix, right, Jax? And kitty pets. If I could reach you, I'd bet you. Alrighty, All Star Liquors. I, I don't know. I'm gonna park right down here in these uh, longer RV slots, and then I'll go in and talk to the manager here. That's kind of pretty in a weird way. <laughs> Not really though. Uh, I'm reading this sign right in front of me. Private property, one hour parking. Nope. Not even going to buy any liquor from you guys. Bye bye. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? We're we're pretty close to the highway, but there's no signs. I mean, it, you know. I'm going to be sitting here with the curtains closed and the air conditioner going. Ah, <laughs> oh, California, how I've missed you and your sunshine. I think there's more sunshine here than there is in the sunshine state of Florida. I always get rained on when I go to Florida. Oh, it's so warm. It is so warm. Woo! Uh, you know, and some of my subscribers and viewers have been asking me why I'm going south. Uh, now they're going to wonder, why is Eric in California? Uh, there are three reasons why I'm still going to be aiming towards Southern California before the end of the year. Three different important reasons, and that will all make sense to y'all later. Right now, I'm sharing some new, fun, cool stuff on the road while, while traveling and living the best life I can. Hey, cell phone towers. I can probably upload a video here. You guys want to see what this area looks like? Let me drone it. I'm going to drone it, guys. cat does good with the AC now, huh? The belly's all nice and cool. The chin's good. How are those teeth? Are, are, are the teeth good? Oh, the teeth are good? Oh, good, good. I want to wish you all a wonderful, happy day. Jackson, I appreciate you watching our channel. And we'll see you later with some new, fun, 
better adventures on the road next time here on the Nomadic Fanatic channel. Bye guys.